Now, councillors across the Midlands are preparing to approve some of the most dramatic cuts ever to local services. All this week, our correspondent Gareth Owen has been exploring the reasons behind those cuts and talking to some of those likely to be affected. Well, tonight, community libraries. They may not take up as much of the council's budget as things like social care, but whenever cuts to libraries are discussed, it prompts a very strong reaction. Just five months ago, the world watched as the city of Birmingham showed just how important libraries are. Pens and books are the weapons that defeat terrorism. But within sight of the £188 million Library of Birmingham is a rather less grand facility. Spring Hill Community Library in Ladywood, one of four earmarked for closure in the city council's latest round of cuts. Save the library from closure. Sign a petition, please. That news got locals out on a Sunday morning, collecting signatures. It's not just a matter of saving a little bit of money off the bottom line of the budget. It's about the fact that you're going to lose all those people that bring their children, families that bring their children to the library to learn to read, about the people that come and do the job search on the computers. We've been told the city centre is on our doorstep and we should be using the city centre library. That doesn't actually say a lot about community. When we've only got one community building, and that's the library, the community wants to use that building. A lot of the residents do feel the central library is for the tourists, it's not actually for the community. The council leader, Sir Albert Bohr, told me community libraries are still important. What we're trying to do now is build a relationship between the Library of Birmingham and our community libraries. Uh, we're looking to the Library of Birmingham to provide something of an outreach service to our community libraries and therefore provide assistance which wasn't there formally between the central library and those community libraries. But is there a solution for Spring Hill? Is the future for small community libraries already happening over in the East Midlands, in Lincolnshire, which has already gone through library service cuts? Some have been sold off. In Waddington, it's now run by the co-op in their pharmacy. Fiction and non-fiction line up alongside headache tablets and shampoo bottles. And then there's Saxelby, where the library has moved in next to the changing rooms and social club on the village playing fields. It was rescued by the parish council. Open, but unstaffed most of the time. If the uh, local community wants to maintain these services, then there has to be some contribution. I think this is, this is the future. It's going to be very, very difficult for some particularly smaller communities to, um, to provide this sort of facility, but where it's possible, I, I would suggest, yes, it, it is definitely worthwhile doing. But what do our campaigners back in Birmingham think of communities taking over their own libraries? Why? We actually need librarians um, in terms of the choice of books and in terms of being able to provide advice to uh, members of the public coming in, in terms of having knowledge about information, how to access information. Volunteers won't have that. You actually need paid, professional, qualified librarians. Community assets is completely out of the question. The residents are saying we don't want asset transfers, we want it to remain part of the local authority. It's still too early to say exactly what will happen here at Spring Hill, but it seems certain that our small local libraries are changing forever. Gareth Owen, ITV News. Been good features those, haven't they? We've run a few of those now and a few more to come. Yes. That, that seems to be the model going forward, doesn't it? Communities taking charge of their own uh, Absolutely. services. Absolutely, and they're still ever popular, aren't they? Yeah. Libraries, we all love our libraries, so Absolutely. you know. let's hope they, they last and stay with us. Now, back to the issue.